Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can lower the resolution of Minecraft Java on your Mac computer so you can have better performance. So let's get started. To begin, you'll want to get yourself Sodium and Sodium Extra. To get the two mods, you'll want to go to your web browser and from there you want to wait a bit for it to open and then you want to go ahead and search up modwinf. So it is modwinf, like so. Here you enter and then you will see that we have modwinf.com. So just click on modwinf and this will bring you to the modwinf homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content and you want to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go and search mods and you want to type in sodium, like so. And here you see both sodium and sodium extra. So what you have to do here is simply click on sodium to begin. Then you want to go to versions. And now you want to select what game version you want to play. So you can go in game versions and you have a bunch of versions that you can choose from here. But basically I'm going to choose 1.21.5 and here you want to choose a release if you can of 1.2.5 fabric. So here, just click the green download button. And now, what you have to do is simply do the same thing. So, go to discover content, mods, you want to type in sodium, sodium, but this time you want sodium extra. So just click on the name, and here you want to go to versions, from there you want to go to game versions and make sure to select the same version as Sodium. So for me it was 1.21.5. Here, make sure you select Fabric as well, so 1.21.5 Fabric, and click the green download button. And now you both have Sodium Extra and Sodium Fabric. So, now what you have to do is get yourself Fabric. To get Fabric, you want to go to a new tab, and you want to go ahead and search up for Fabric Minecraft, like so. Here, you will see FabricMC.net. So just click on Fabric, and from there, you want to click the blue download button here. And now you want to click the download installer universal slash dot jar here. And this will get you the dot jar file of this. Now, as this is a dot jar, you might not be able to run it as you might not have Java for Mac. So what you have to do here is just go to a new tab and I will have this link to the website in the description as well, but it's just JDK24. Here you enter and here you see overcall here with Java downloads. So just click that and from there you want to do accept all and if you scroll down basically you will see that we have JDK24. You want to select macOS and then you want to select the DMG installers depending on if you have a Intel CPU or a M CPU from Apple. You just simply click this link here, you download and install Java, and then you'll be able to run the jar files. So I will have this website in the description as well as a tutorial to how to do this. But basically, if you already have Java, you will just only need this. And what you have to do here is just close your web browser. And from there, all you want to do is simply go to your finder window. It looks like this. Here, what you want to do is go to downloads, and now we can work on our files. So the first thing we need to do here is double click the jar file for fabric installer. So we double click that, and now we say not open. How do we fix this issue? Well, click done, and now what you want to do is go to the top to the Apple logo here, and here you want to go to system settings. Now, what you want to do is simply go ahead and scroll down and you'll see privacy and security. Here, you want to do the same thing, so you want to scroll down and you'll see on the bottom that this app here was blocked. All JAR apps are blocked on Mac. So what you have to do here is just do open anyway and now you're going to have a open anyway button for the same file. Now it will ask us to put our password or ask for Touch ID. So I'll just do Touch ID real quick. Okay. 
and we now have Fabric Installer. So here for the Minecraft version, select the Minecraft version you've gotten for Sodium and Sodium Extra. And if it's the same, just do install and you're done. So just do OK, close and close to keep everything clean. And now what you want to do is add these two mods to the Minecraft mods folder. The way you do this is by opening the Minecraft launcher. So you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and from there we will be able to go ahead and add our mods. So here we see that we have Fabric and Loader here. And what you want to do is go to Installations here on the top. Then you want to go and hover over a version and go to the folder icon. Now what you want to do is find the mods folder. So it might be a bit mixed up, but basically you want to go ahead and find a folder called mods like so. And all you want to do is double click it. And here, what you want to do is go to downloads. So make sure you're on the same window. Now go ahead and select both mods, so sodium extra and sodium. Right click and just copy them, so copy them. Now what you want to do is use these little arrows here to go back to the previous area, which is mods. And now you can just right click and do paste two items. And there you go. You now have the two items in the mods folder. This means you can go ahead and click play on Minecraft and sodium and sodium extra will work. Although there is one more setting to change in Minecraft and then your resolution will be half, basically giving you two times more performance. So. Number one, let's begin by going to a world to see our current resolution. I will also make everything a bit bigger here, just to make it nice and simple for everyone. So I'll just make it nice and big like so. Okay. So here we are in Minecraft. And if we do F3, we see that we have 2554 times 1416. Now the thing is, if it's full screen, it will be well higher but this is already quite high for the size of what we're playing at because minecraft doesn't need to have 4k resolution because that's what most macbook comes with these days giving you a weird performance uh, issue with mac so what you want to do here is simply keep in mind the fps and also keep in mind the resolution so what you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to settings here you want to go to options here. Here you want to go to video settings. And now what you want to do is just go to the extras button here. So you have all these different settings where you want to go to extras. And here you see reduce resolution on macOS. So just click this and now you want to do apply. And now as this thing says you need to restart the game. So just go ahead and restart your game. So we'll do this right now, quit game, and now we want to open Minecraft again, so we we'll open up the Minecraft launcher, and from there, if you keep using Sodium and Sodium Extra, your resolution will be halved. And we can try again, so here it is, and now if we check with the same thing, we will have lower resolution, but it is still playable as the display quality is very high on these Macs, so if we go ahead and just make this a bit bigger like before, like so. There you go. And then we go to single player again. We will, we will basically notice a different thing here. So number one, you can notice that the quality is low. Now again, I really don't think this is noticeable, but if you want to pixel uh, look at, so you can like pixel pick it, you can probably try to do this. But basically, um, if I go on F and F3 here, you will notice that we have different things here. So number one, our resolution is like way lower so as you can see it's like around like i don't know like probably like twice as low honestly because it is twice as low but the actual fps itself is similar but is also higher because that is also really useful with shaders as you can see sometimes go up to 200 here we're really not bottleneck by anything so the fps gap will not be massive but we do basically have two times more performance especially if you're using something like shaders but here you can clearly see that the FPS does go higher than it used to because the resolution is way lower than it used to be. But also doesn't affect the gameplay at all. So yeah, that's how we reduce the resolution on macOS. 
So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.